Where do Romanians really come from? For centuries, this has been one of Eastern Europe's biggest mysteries. Some say Romanians are mainly descendants of the Romans who once ruled this land. Others believe their roots go much deeper, back to the ancient peoples who lived here long before the Roman Empire. Now, for the first time, DNA is giving us clearer answers. And what scientists have discovered is surprising. It does not fully match the stories many of us learned in school. So stay with me until the end, because we're about to explore the hidden truths behind Romanian DNA. And before we begin, let me ask you a question. Do you think Romanians are mostly Roman in origin, or something much older? Drop your answer in the comments. To understand the genetic story of the Romanian people, we first need to understand the land itself. Long before written history, this region sat at the meeting point of several worlds. Mountains, rivers, and open plains all came together here, and each one played a different role in shaping human movement. The Carpathian Mountains surround much of the country. They are not impossible to cross, but they slow movement and help communities stay in the same places for long periods of time. The Danube River, on the other hand, connects this region to Central Europe, the Balkans, and the Black Sea. To the east and south, open plains made travel easier, allowing people to move through the land, trade, settle, and mix with local populations. This mix of mountains, rivers, and open land created a unique pattern. People moved in and out, but the local population was rarely destroyed or replaced. New groups usually settled alongside those already living there. Over time, cultures and customs changed faster than the people themselves. This idea is important for understanding Romanian genetics. The region was never empty land waiting for newcomers. It was already home to established communities with deep roots. Each new group added something to the story, but very little of what came before was ever completely removed. Long before the Roman Empire reached this region, the land was already home to ancient Balkan peoples, often called Dacians and Thracians. They were not one single tribe or nation, but many related communities living across mountains, valleys, and river areas. They farmed the land, raised animals, traded metals, and built fortified settlements. Archaeology shows that their way of life remained stable for a long time. They lived here generation after generation and were deeply connected to the land. Modern DNA studies support this picture. When scientists analyze genetic patterns in today's Romanian population, they find strong links to ancient Balkan ancestry. This does not mean people today are unchanged copies of ancient groups. It means the core population remained present while history moved around them. This surprises many people because ancient groups are often treated as if they vanished when new powers arrived. Genetics tells a different story. In this region, the ancient layer did not disappear. It endured. One of the biggest puzzles in European history is simple to state, but difficult to explain. Why do Romanians speak a Latin-based language while being surrounded mostly by Slavic-speaking neighbors? The traditional explanation points to Roman rule. The Romans conquered parts of this region and created the province of Dacia. Roman administration, soldiers, and settlers arrived. Latin became the language of power, trade, and law. This is where DNA changes the picture. Roman rule in this region was relatively short, lasting less than 200 years. From a genetic point of view, that is not enough time to replace a population that had lived there for thousands of years. DNA studies support this. Roman genetic influence exists, but it is limited. It appears as one layer added to the population, not as a complete replacement. This suggests that Latin spread mainly through culture, government, and social advantage, rather than through large numbers of Roman settlers. Simply put, many local people adopted the Roman language because it helped them in daily life. Language changed faster than ancestry. Even after Roman rule ended, Latin continued to be spoken. This challenges the idea that speaking a Latin language automatically means being mostly descended from Roman settlers. In the Romanian case, language tells one story. DNA tells a deeper one. Centuries after the Roman period, Slavic groups moved into large parts of Eastern Europe and the Balkans. 
their cultural and linguistic influence was strong and long-lasting. Many neighboring populations adopted Slavic languages, customs, and political structures. This has led to a common assumption that Slavic migrations must have completely reshaped the genetic makeup of the region. But genetics does not support this idea for Romania. DNA evidence shows some Slavic genetic input, but again, it appears as one layer among many. The older Balkan foundation remains clearly visible. This suggests that Slavic groups mixed with existing populations rather than replacing them. It also explains something important. Romanians share some genetic similarities with neighboring populations, but they also form their own distinct cluster. They are not simply a Slavic population that speaks a Latin language. They are something more complex. This is a pattern seen repeatedly in human history. Cultural dominance does not always mean genetic dominance. People can adopt new identities while remaining biologically connected to their deeper past. When scientists study Romanian DNA today, they do not look for single origins or pure lines. Instead, they look at patterns and clusters. What they find is a population shaped by multiple historical layers. The strongest genetic signal comes from long-term Balkan ancestry. This links modern Romanians to ancient populations who lived in the region long before written history. On top of this deep foundation are smaller layers from Roman times and later medieval contacts, including Slavic and other regional influences. What matters most is what we do not see. There is no evidence of a complete population replacement at any point in history. DNA shows no major break that would suggest the land was emptied and later filled by new people. This places Romania within a wider pattern seen across parts of southeastern Europe, where continuity matters more than disruption. Empires came and went, borders shifted, languages changed, but the population largely remained. DNA does not make history simpler, it makes it more accurate. This story can be controversial because it touches on identity. Many people want clear labels and simple answers, Roman or Dacian, Latin or Balkan, East or West. Science does not divide people that way. DNA challenges extreme claims from all sides. It does not support the idea of pure Roman descent, and it does not show an untouched, isolated ancient population. Instead, it reveals continuity mixed with adaptation over time. This leads to a deeper question. If a people can change their language, political systems, and culture without being replaced, what truly defines who they are? Romanian history suggests that identity is not about purity. It is about survival. It is about taking in new influences while remaining rooted to the land. This is not a loss of identity. It is how identity endures. One of the most noticeable things about the Romanian people is their language. Romanian is a Latin language, closely related to Italian, Spanish, and French. Yet Romania is surrounded mostly by countries that speak Slavic languages. This creates a clear contradiction that many people notice, but do not fully understand. Modern genetics shows that language and ancestry do not always move together. Languages can spread faster than people, and are often adopted for practical reasons, like trade, government, or social advantage. In Romania, DNA shows that the population did not change as much as the language did. This difference between language and genetics is not a mistake. It is a sign that culture can change without replacing the people who carry it. Long before Roman legions crossed the Danube, this region was already home to ancient Balkan communities, often called Dacians and Thracians. They were not single tribes or unified nations, but many related groups who lived here for centuries, farming the land, trading, and building settlements. Archaeology shows that their way of life remained stable for a long time, and genetics supports this. When scientists study modern Romanian DNA, they find strong links to ancient Balkan ancestry. This means the population did not disappear when new powers arrived. The same communities stayed on the land while history changed around them. Empires rose and fell, borders shifted, but the people largely remained. This kind of continuity is easy to miss because ancient names fade from written history. 
DNA helps reveal what those records often leave out. For a long time, many people believed that Romanians were mainly descendants of Roman settlers. This belief makes sense. The language is Latin, and Roman rule left clear traces. But science offers a more balanced picture. Roman control of the region was relatively short, lasting less than 200 years. From a genetic point of view, that is not enough time to fully replace a population that had lived there for thousands of years. DNA studies confirm this. Roman genetic influence exists, but it is limited. What spread more widely than Roman DNA was Roman culture. Latin became the language of government and everyday life. Many local people adopted it because it brought order and opportunity. Even after Roman rule ended, the language continued. Science does not deny Roman influence. It simply shows that this influence was added on top of a much older foundation. Later on, Slavic groups moved across much of Eastern Europe and the Balkans. Their cultural and linguistic influence was strong, which has led many people to believe that these migrations replaced the earlier populations. DNA evidence does not support this idea in Romania. Genetic studies show some Slavic influence, but it is not the main one. The deeper Balkan ancestry is still clearly present. This helps explain why Romanians are genetically close to other southeastern European populations, yet still distinct. They are not simply a Slavic population that happens to speak a Latin language. Instead, they reflect a long process of mixing, without erasing what came before. History often overstates the impact of migrations. Genetics reminds us that movement does not always mean replacement. These findings challenge a common but flawed idea that identity must be pure to be real. Romanian history shows the opposite. Identity often survives because it adapts. A people can change their language without disappearing. They can take in new influences without losing continuity. Romanian identity was shaped not by isolation, but by endurance. DNA does not support extreme claims from any side. It does not confirm a purely Roman origin, and it does not show an untouched ancient population. Instead, it reveals something more realistic and human. Identity is not a single origin story. It is an ongoing conversation between the past and the present. DNA does not replace history. It helps correct it. It reveals patterns that politics, myths, and old assumptions often hide. In the case of Romania, DNA tells a quiet but powerful story. The people remained even as empires came and went, languages changed faster than ancestry, and continuity mattered more than conquest. This is not only a Romanian story, it reflects how human history usually works. Most populations are not erased, they survive. When science and history are considered together, they do not make identity simpler, they make it deeper. They remind us that survival, not purity, is what truly shapes a people. The history of Romania is a long story shaped by ancient communities, Roman rule, medieval migrations, and centuries of cultural change. Each chapter has left its mark on the Romanian genetic landscape. If you enjoyed this journey through the unique DNA of the Romanian people, let us know in the comments. Have you ever taken a DNA test and discovered something surprising about your roots? Or have you always wondered where your family truly comes from? Share your thoughts and stories. We'd love to hear them. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching. La Revedere. Goodbye for now.